hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is african princess rams i'm a youtuber based in kasane botswana you guys you mean a lot to me by just viewing my my boring videos and liking some of you like them it means a whole lot to me guys thank you so much for clicking stay tuned as i share with you something more personal something more touching as the topic depicts i almost married a psycho guys somebody who's not i don't think he's mentally stable because if you're mentally stable you can't do the things that he wanted to do i think that guy needs help but hey i couldn't help because maybe in the process of helping i would have died yes guys it all started when i was staying with my kids at Mogoditan, we were renting a one-roomed house and I was staying with my two boys. By then my kids were three. The twins and the, the and the, the young brother, but the young brother is staying with his dad. So that time I used to go past the 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 workstation for of that that guy. Maybe he saw me when I I was passing through because I was working as a maid at Shombalala. Shombalala flats. Maybe those who know Havorone know where Shombalala flats are. I was working as a maid for this other couple, Yamakul, the Indians. I used to pass the maid. The guy developed interest and started to talk talking to me and telling me that he loves me he he adores me he wanna marry me blah 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 and he was showing so much interest that you won't even believe then i after some time of thinking over it because i was single by then i decided to give him a try let me just let me just see what what where will end what will happen with this guy we agreed the guy started showing me some love taking care of my kids doing a lot of stuff for me he this then i uh, and then because he likes big business he said we have to find a slot where to sell some stuff and stop going to stop being a maid because i'm capable yo i i thought i i <laughs> I thought he daily jackpot. Then I decided to find two slots where I was selling quick recharge sweets, biscuits, a lot of stuff. Those two spots, they were all mine. The other one I hired somebody to help me with. The other one was run by me. So time progresses after five months, six months. The guy said he wanted to marry me. I think he proposed to me this first within six months of dating. Because I was seeing that the guy is so serious, what 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 he's caring, he loves me, he he sees a lot in me. I decided to agree with that that guy. He engaged me. You know, after the engagement, guys, he showed me flames. When I come back from from work, he will ask me where is the money. I tell him, then he we start counting the money, balancing everything, writing everything because we needed to balance stock and maybe go and find the 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 stock that was shorting. The one that uh, we ran short of. So, one day when I was with my cousin, imagine I was with my cousin. The guy decided to ask me, where is the money? I told him, did you buy some stuff that you need tomorrow? I said, no. Then he started 
shouting at me, saying a lot of stuff here. There is a guy who is delaying you to do this business because he, he promised you a lot of stuff. Hey, what, 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 what? Then I kept quiet. That day I kept quiet. I just listened to this guy saying a lot of things. The moment I tried to talk, then Mba, wow! he slept me that time. My eyes swollen that same moment because I was so, he was so muscular. He was muscular and strong. I cried. It was my very, very, very first time to be beaten by a man. Even my late dad, my late dad never slept me or beaten me. He would rather beat my brothers and leave me alone because I was I was born as a girl amongst four boys. My 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 brothers knew knew that I was a princess. No one will touch me. No one will beat me except my mom. My mom used to beat me. When I do not, she will slap me. She will beat me. I remember she always beat me when I fail at school. But my dad never beat. She he has never beaten me. That came up came across my heart. My mind that my dad never slapped me. My dad never hit me, but this guy is hitting me. Then I I started developing some some other feelings like I started seeing him as a, somebody who I cannot stay with. Then I, I decided to take my stuff one by one, put them at home. I, it, it was Christmas when he when we were home with my my family, but my grandma was in Raburon. Our home village is in Mosolosan. My grandma was in Habroni for a funeral. I think there was a funeral that 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 she attended there. Then it was me, my 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 cousins, and my kids. The guy came straight to my home village. He did. He didn't inform me. He didn't do anything. And he saw me with my cousins. My male cousins and my this uh, my other cousin she's a female then she started shouting at us so what is this guy saying he started to beat me he kneeled down and choked me. <laughs> Imagine an, a guy kneeling to just choke a lady. That one wanted to kill me. Then he, he drove me to a certain, certain yard. He said, this is where the, your boyfriend stays. Hmm. I was... I was afraid, I was shaking, I was crying. That time I I swear to God, I said this is the last time this guy is seeing me. This is the very last time. He will never see me again. Not not after beating me and shaming me before my, my people, before our our my cousins like this. Then he said, let's go to Raburon. I, I refused. Then he went to Raburon. The moment he went to Raburon, I ran to Serui. And after some time, my grandma came back home. And the guy came to my grandma telling him that he wants to see me, blah, blah, blah. We need to sit down and talk. Hey, you will never see anyone who is like me, blah, blah, blah. And he would go to Surwe, look, walk around Surwe, trying to locate where I was. That guy, I think, he was mentally disturbed. Imagine, Surwe is such a big village. You want to, to, to locate somebody who doesn't want to answer your phone, 
who doesn't want to talk to you and then after failing he, he started calling me i dropped his his call he called me a drop call me a drop send message i ignore but he keep on doing that pursuing me until i ran to Basara because sorry i thought it was too too near for him to maybe you will ask people around or maybe one day we are just walk through him in a shop and he will start chasing me again like he used to do even even this time because we we send we registered a company together lamaza investment p ltd he will call me this time and tell me hey your company is doing money hey your company is doing blah blah then i told him that i'm better off without that company i was uh i was 50 percent i was having 50 percent shares on that company but my life is better than having a company i was I'll still survive like I am surviving without that company because I don't want to die. My kids are too young. And I'm a single parent. Though I have somebody right now who I'm dating, but by then I was a single parent without no one knowing nowhere to go. I came to Kasana not knowing anything. But the people here, they are so welcoming, as well they are. They are so loving, they are so welcoming. You won't even feel like you are far from home. Kasani is my next home from, uh, from home. I'm enjoying myself here more than the time when I, when I was staying in Khaburun. Khaburun was just too much for me because you need to do a lot of stuff. You pay everything. You pay for rent. You pay for transport. You pay for everything. You can't ask your neighbor uh, for help. You're just there on your own. I'm praying to God that one day I find a suitable job for me so I can feed my family and my kids. Imagine. Ish. Some things are so hurting, but God knows. God knows I will find a job one day because right now I feel my my career is stuck on one point. I'm not using the degree that I I went to school for because I I I have bachelor's of sciences honors degree in information technology, but. Uh, it's so difficult in Botswana to find a job. I've long graduated in 20, 2013, not 2013, but till now, I've never secured a job. I've worked as a maid, I've worked in engineering, I've worked at. Hey, but God knows. God knows. And God's time is the best time. He, he won't give me kids that he knows I cannot find. He gave me kids because he, he was seeing that I was capable to take care of them. I love my boys so much. I cannot trade them with anything. I'll choose them over everything. I know I cannot take good care of them because I'm not I'm not working I'm working but ah, it's nothing to take home about to write home about but one day everything will be fine I guess thank you guys for listening to my boring story but before I close this video, my advice to you guys, never settle for less than you deserve. And before you, you, you agree to marry any, 
have time to to have time to know them seek the spirit of discernment it will be able it will be able to for you to differentiate between between an abuser and a lover some men think they can just buy us with money because you don't have money we don't we need support don't settle for money money can kill you money can be the root cause of evil money can be the root cause of of nice things so just be careful guys I love you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for clicking thank you so much for subscribing tell your friends to subscribe tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe I need you guys there is a lot to share about there is a lot to talk about there is a lot coming your way stay glued to this channel I love you so much guys with my broken English, just listen to it and um, derive the message from what I'm saying and forget about the broken English. As long as I can portray the message, as long as you can receive what the message that I wanted to, to send to you guys, broken English is nothing compared to what I'm sharing. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you guys in the in my next video. Video. Bye. Peace out. Peace. Uh.